Hello, I am Sujoy and this is my another video on the numerical method series. I have already uploaded 54 plus videos on numerical methods. If you want to watch any of my previous videos, link to all of them is given in the video description below. So check them out. Today in this video, I will tell you how to do the Cholsky decomposition of a 3 cross 3 square matrix. I have also 4 videos on the LU decomposition, another decomposition technique. Link to all of them is given in the video description below. So let's start today's video. So before we start with the calculation, let me tell you some basics. This is called row 1, this is row 2 and this is row 3. Similarly, this is called the column 1, this is column 2 and this is column 3. Now the basics of Cholsky decomposition. In Cholsky decomposition, we decompose a square matrix A in two sub matrices L and LT or transpose of L where the matrix A is equals to L into transpose of L that I have written here A is equals to L into transpose of L where L is a lower triangular matrix this is the standard form of L where the values or numerical values are there in the lower triangle and the upper triangular values are all 0 and this is the transpose of L or LT for short. So here the first row of L is A00. So we will write that as column 1 in LT A00. Similarly the row 2 of L will become the column 2 of LT and the row 3 of L will become the column 3 of LT. So that is by writing rows into columns you will get the transpose of a square matrix. Remember the Cholsky decomposition is possible only with the square matrix and with symmetric matrix. Square matrix means where the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. So here our original matrix A is a square matrix since the number of rows is equal to number of columns is equal to 3 both are same and the Cholsky decomposition possible with the symmetric matrix the symmetric matrix means where the matrix A is equals to the transpose of matrix A that means the matrix and its transpose both are equal so that I have written here this is the transpose of, of original matrix A this is the AT so row 1 is 4 to 12 that is written column wise. Row 2 is 2, 5, 10 that is written column wise. And row 3 is 12, 10, 49 that is the column 3 of 80. 12, 10, 49. And as you can see the A and 80 both are same. So the Cholsky decomposition of A is possible. This check you have to perform before doing the Cholsky decomposition. Next, we will find out the submatrix L and the submatrix LT. For that, we will use this property. We know the matrix A is equal to L into LT. So, we know the standard form of L. And by transposing it, we will get the standard form of LT. And now, we will multiply these two matrices. I hope you know the matrix multiplication. If you don't, don't worry, I will tell it to you. A into A is A square written here plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0. So that is equals to A square written here. Next, we will multiply the row 2 of L with the column 1 of LT. So B into A plus D into 0 plus 0 into 0 that's equals to AB written here and next we will multiply the row 3 of L with the column 1 of LT so C into A plus E into 0 plus F into 0 that's equals to A into C or AC written here next we will multiply the row 1, row 2 and row 3 of L with the 
कॉलम टू ऑफ एल टी सो ए इंटू बी प्लस जीरो इंटू डी प्लस जीरो इंटू जीरो दैट्स इक्वल्स टू ए बी रिटर्न हियर नेक्स्ट विल मल्टीप्लाई रो टू ऑफ एल विथ कॉलम टू ऑफ एल टी दैट्स इक्वल्स टू बी इंटू बी प्लस डी इंटू डी प्लस जीरो इंटू जीरो दैट इज बी स्क्वायर प्लस डी स्क्वायर रिटर्न हियर नेक्स्ट विल मल्टीप्लाई रो थ्री ऑफ एल विथ द कॉलम टू ऑफ एल टी So that is c into b plus e into d plus f into zero. So that is b c plus d. That is written here. So next we'll multiply the row one, row two, and row three of L with the column three of L D. So next a into c plus zero into e plus zero into f. So that is a into c or a c. Written here. Next, we'll multiply row two of L with the column three of L T. B into C plus D into E plus zero into F. So that is B C plus D. Written here. Next, we'll multiply row three of L with the column three of L T. So let's do it. C into C plus E into E plus F into F. That's equals to C square plus E square plus F square. That's written here. Next, we relate these two matrices to get the values for A, B, C, D, E, and F. So we'll make a table like this and do the calculation. A square is equals to four, so A is root of four or two. That is written here. Next, AB is equals to two. A is two, so AB or two into B is equals to two, so B is equals to one. Written here. AC is equals to twelve. We know a is two, so a c is equals to twelve. A is two, so c is equals to twelve by two or six. So column one is complete. Next, we'll calculate column two. For that, we'll compare the column two of this matrix with the column two of A. So a b is equals to two. So we have already calculated the a b. So we don't need to calculate it again. We know the values for a and b. And next, b square plus d square is equals to number five. So we know the b equals to one. So we can write one square plus d square is equals to five. Or d square is equals to five minus one square that is equals to four. So if d square is four, then d is equals to two. Next, b c plus d e is equals to ten. So b into c is one into six plus d into e that is two into e is equals to ten. Or we can write six plus two e is equals to ten. Or two e is equals to ten minus six four. So if 2e is 4, then e is equals to 2. So column 2 is done. Next, we'll calculate the column 3 with comparing the column 3 of this matrix with column 3 of A. So AC is equals to 12. So we have already calculated AC here. So we don't need to calculate AC again. Next, BC plus DE is equals to 10. So we have already calculated the BC plus DE value here. So we know the values for B, C, D, and E. Finally, we have to calculate the C square plus E square plus F square. 
which is equals to 49. So we know C is 6, so we can write 6 square. We know E is 2, so we can write E square or 2 square plus F square is equals to 49. So C square is 36 plus 2 square is 4 plus F square is equals to 49. So if you transfer the 36 plus 4, 40 to the right hand side, you will get 49 minus 40. That is equals to 9. So if f square is 9, then f is equals to root of 9 or f is equals to 3. So from this table, we have obtained the values for a, p, c, d, e and f. Now we will put those values into the standard form of L to get the actual L matrix. So we know A is 2 written here, B is 1 written here, C is 6 written here, D is 2 written here, E is 2 written here and F is 3 written here and all other values are 0 as it is. So we have obtained the matrix L. Now we will transpose it. We will write the row 1 of L as column 1 of L T. So 2 0 0 written column wise, 1 2 0 written column wise and 6 2 3 written column wise. That is our required L T matrix. So we have successfully decomposed the matrix A into two sub matrices L and LT. Now if we multiply the L into LT, you will get the original matrix A. Now I will show you the proof of L into LT using the Casio FX Nano ES scientific calculator. So to use the matrix mode, go to the matrix mode by pressing mode, 6 for matrix, 1 for matrix A, 2 for matrix B and 3 for matrix C. So first we will enter matrix A, so press 1, 1 for 3 cross 3 matrix and now enter the data. So to enter the data type in the value and press equals to button. So 2 is entered and the cursor will automatically move to the next field and keep entering the value and press equals to. So A is entered. Next press AC to clear screen and to enter B press shift 4, 2 for data and 2 for matrix B and 1 for 3 cross 3 matrix and now we will enter LT as matrix B. And now we will multiply the matrix A into matrix B that is L into LT. So to get matrix A press shift 4 3 for matrix A into shift 4 4 for matrix B and press equals to. You will get the original matrix A. 4 2 12 2 5 10 12 10 and 49. Isn't it cool? So this is my another video on computer aided teaching or CAT. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will upload more videos for you. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So that when I will upload my next video, you will get an email if you subscribe. And if you like the video or the video has helped you, please like and share the video. That will really encourage me. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.